Meantime, here at three, the city of Houston is hoping that an ongoing project will actually help identify COVID-19 hotspots in our area. Good afternoon to you. I'm Mayra Moreno. And I'm Alona Carson. And today for Chauncey, now this project yeah. involved testing human wastewater at the city's water plants. Our Steve Campion has been following this story. He's joining us now live with more. Steve. Alona, I am going on the record this afternoon. This is not a job that I am signing up for. But think about the next time you flush your toilet. Where does that waste go? Well, it could end up in a laboratory. Take a look if you dare. This is what's politely referred to as wastewater. Simply put, it's your number two. If you're positive with COVID-19, you're shedding the virus with every big flush. And while the world waits on a vaccine, the city of Houston and our partners have taken uh, innovative uh, steps to monitor the spread. Houston's health department told us today they've developed an early COVID-19 detection system, so to speak, by testing wastewater samples weekly at 39 plants across the city. Usually when people think of wastewater, immediate reaction is yuck. So I was thrilled that this project was able to shed light on the incredible value of studying the stuff that goes down the toilet. The samples of your stuff is sent to labs at both Rice University and Baylor College of Medicine. It's then analyzed. We have been striving to make sure that this is accurate and factual because this is what we have strived all along to do is to provide the public with accurate and factual information. So when I see on the news at 430, the bathroom talk continues. Why could this help traditional testing for the coronavirus? I'll explain. We're live this afternoon. Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News. Well, this can definitely make a lot of people uncomfortable, but it is needed to find out more.